it, one of the things we talked about before coming on the air, I'm struck by where venture capital is, is done. It's uh, the most successful states hosting venture capital, either venture capital firms or companies, are California, New York, and Massachusetts. And I don't think of those as necessarily business-friendly states. Is, it, is that they just are an exception there? Or what, is there anything going on that uh, would be interesting to know about? The way we think about it is actually where where is the con concentration of technical talent? Okay. And so I think that Boston and the San Francisco Bay Area have historically uh, been the top two cities for entrepreneurship and for venture capital, at least since World War II. Uh, and that's really because uh, the you know the best mi technical minds in the world were brought there in large part actually for the war effort, right? So it was MIT and Stanford in particular um, where you brought you know sci scientists, the engineers, the mathematicians. And, and out of that yeah. talent came the semiconductor industry. Yeah. Um, that's why Silicon Valley is called Silicon Valley. It's semiconductors made out of silicon. Um, the, what uh, at the time was called the mini computer industry, which originated in Boston, which led to the, the PC and the laptop and so forth. Yeah. But it came out of really these, re these universities uh, and all the money that poured in to develop weaponry um, and you know beating the Nazis. So it's it's less about state level policy and more about city level talent. And I think uh, um, now you have more and more cities that are centers of venture capital, and that includes Austin, that includes um, Washington D.C., um, that includes Los Angeles, increasingly. And the driver is often where is the talent, and especially the technical talent. Where do they want to live? Um, and are there companies that have brought in large amounts of talent, like an Amazon or a Microsoft have in Seattle, that can, once you get the training and, and you get to meet other talented people, you go off and you start your own company? Mm -hmm. what, what do we call those? Clusters? Mm -hmm. And uh, didn't Michael Porter have a lot to say about that, that that was one of the source of advantages where you can get a critical mass of people, whether it's in your business or Hollywood? Yeah, and one of my favorite examples is the northern Italian metalworking business. It turns mm. out at one point all of the metalworkers, all the best metalworkers in the world, lived near Milan, mm. and so that became the uh, Silicon Valley of the I don't know 19th century. Yeah, you're seeing that crop up in the U.S. today, and I think Dan and I have the fortune to travel around the country and see some of these different hubs. And recently we were in De Detroit, and what you're seeing in Detroit is a resurgence of technology that was born out of the auto industry, mm -hmm. but today is being transferred to automated navigation, autonomy, as Dan said, driverless cars. Dan Gilbert, the founder of Quicken Loans, is really underwriting a lot of that growth in Detroit. And you're seeing that in other cities as well. So if you're mayor or governor of a state and you're trying to drive economic growth, mm -hmm. what are the elements you put in place? You've got a research, research uh, a university, hospital to, to build something around? I, I should say it's very difficult. I yeah, think that's, that yeah, that's um, my impression. I think Michael Bloomberg <clears throat> did something really important for New York City in, yeah. in uh, bringing basically a new university to Roosevelt Island, um, uh, and that was a, a collaboration between Cornell and Technion, basically the MIT of Israel. Um, so research universities are key. Um, I think probably the single most important thing that government has has done anywhere in the world to foster venture capital and to foster entrepreneurship uh, is in Israel. Um, they um, had uh, tw 20 years ago, couple, well, actually, two, it was two things. One was uh, at, when the French cut Israel off from uh, arming them uh, after, the, after the Six Day War, um, uh, Israel said, We have to create our own military industrial complex. And so, a ton of technical talent went into that, and then has mm -hmm. over time become com commercial, uh, commercialized technology. But the second thing they did was uh, the state, in a very serious way, subsidized venture capital. Right. I think they invested $2 of, of, government, of taxpayer dollars for every $1 of, uh, of private uh, money. And Israel is now the second leading uh, technology you know, country in the world um, and, and has a, a second to Silicon Valley, I think, uh, globally is Tel Aviv. Uh, otherwise, it's really difficult to manufacture this. Mm -hmm. It really has to do with, you know, did Jeff, Be Jeff Bezos, actually Jeff Bezos decided to move to Seattle partially because of tax rates in, uh, in the state of, of Washington. Uh, and now, as a result, you have this incredible burgeoning entrepreneurial ecosystem and technology ecosystem uh, in Seattle. Uh, but, um, you know, did the, the legislatures in Washington state know what they were getting? Maybe, maybe not. Mm.